So I have a new display for my gunships. These aren't part of the display, they're on bags. So, right, okay, hear me out. This is the 2000 version. It's based on a what-if scene, basically, or a plausible scene from the Geonosis Arena, where the gunship comes in from this side and either picks up or drops off Jedi, and that's why, kind of, the Jedi Bob there is towards the side. Also, on the box of it, it said pretty much that he was on that side anyway. This is the not-2000 version. This is the more recent version um, and this one is basically doing the scene that Padme falls out of the gunship, and then uh, Padme or Anakin is like, "Turn the ship down!" and Obi Wan's like, "Shut the shut shut up!" And then um, yeah, that's that's the crack there. So this is seven six seven six. This is also seven six seven six, but they're two completely different eras. So this is from the Clone Wars series, and it's from the episode Attack on Ryloth. I think that is the name of the episode but one way or another it's from the battle of ryloth and obi-wan kenobi is in here um with commander cody and a few clone troopers i'm waiting on two uh bits and pieces that will make the rest of the clones kind of well th this piece is broken so just ignore that but there's two other two two twelfth clones here so i have ordered them and i will be getting uh, them soon and making them because they don't have their helmets on so this is going to be interesting as well but that is recreating one of the scenes there just before Obi-Wan Kenobi lands on Ryloth in that story arc and this is going to be my most expensive to fill out because this is the ship Lucky Leku sorry that's the crumb bomber just for reference but the Lucky Leku is actually one of the ships that capture Darth Maul in season seven of the Clone Wars, and more so than that, it's the one that Captain Rex is aboard. So, I, I, like, I had to do an awful lot of research just to find this filled and to find the Crumb Bomber filled. I've done an awful lot of research just to get to where I am at the moment. Um, and where I am at the moment is I found out who drives the, uh, who pilots this ship, and it's like 501st Clone Pilots. Uh, at phase two so they're a bit expensive they're like 20 quid each or 18 quid each or, you know what i mean it's it's not going to be like a five or each or 450 you know it's going to be expensive um also then i have already ordered two mandalorians for in here because there's a mandalorian either side and rex in the middle the mandalorians are the ones with the rope guns they're the ones that actually trap them all and then rex is in the middle there each of them have one of these things um you know the little kind of antenna on top i'm going to take out that and these guys both have jet packs so that's actually really interesting and it's going to be fun but it's going to be really expensive so i actually have to buy rex and two pilots and then i'll have that filled up and it'll be rep representing that exact scene and i'll be very happy i'll be very happy these are the two little advent calendar ones but uh yeah that's where i plan on going with all of this setup here um, I love it because now I have an excuse for two seven six seven sixes. They're only my favorite for the reason of nostalgia. They're the first ones I actually bought myself. Um, well, you know, purchased when I was a when I was a kid. But yeah, that's where I'm planning on going with these two guys. Waiting on uh, pilots for this and some two twelve figures for in there, and waiting to find a cheap deal for Rex so I can fill up that guy. Um, but yeah, so Valentine's Day passed and my roses are out on the table and also the kitchen is entirely different to the last video. This was in that corner, we had no dryer and um, yeah, this was over there, everything was in a different place. But now I have a different setup, I think the window looks nicer a little bit and I've taken all the Lego from here all together because, you know, it just, it just doesn't really fit there, it doesn't work there, you know. Uh, no Lego on this table at all, of course, but then you have it over here so I can actually fit the Razor Crest and the uh, Walker here, which is nice. I think the Razor Crest looks really nice on that. I might actually move it somewhere else um, Just bringing it on this because I think it actually does look quite nice on that It's like this kind of mirror thing and I just think it just suits it very well um, But yeah, that's the crack with the kitchen like it's completely different but uh you know it works we have to make do with what we got
Then in the sitting room, excuse the mess over here, but uh, that's only temporary. This is where my Lego recording thing is now. So my light is here and, you know, the boxes then, empty boxes and stuff are going to go under there. But this is this is essentially where I'm going to do most of my, like, intro videos and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's changed a bit. But, you know, it works. It works. you got to make do with what you got. That hasn't changed at all. I don't think I will change it. And I think the setup there, as I said, these two were going to move. So I think the setup there is a lot nicer than it was. But, uh, oh, yeah, well, the, the, this thing caught my eye because I was in mum's house. And uh, we found it. It's like ancient o Ogham, Ogham writing. But uh, it's essentially what, like, the old Celtics used to use. And the, uh, like the Vikings would have kind of used it a little bit as well. It means friendship. So that's kind of interesting. But I just thought it would be very nice in that whole setup and I think to be honest I think I have done a nice job there with all of that but uh yeah that's the new setup as well I got, I got, got my little shark there I don't know like I don't know if you want to see that but I, I, you know I think the setup here is pretty nice now we've been in here for like a week or two and I think this is pretty much where it's going to stay also whenever I get Rex I'm going to put him in the middle there for a minute and then take a picture but he's going to go up in the gunship I think to be honest he's going to live up there. So I'm finished all of the reviews well not not completely finished I just need to edit some videos and stuff but all of that thing I think can go up to mums um, and also then we can see that my next project is the Millennium Falcon. It actually weighs more than I thought it did. And I thought it weighed a good bit to start with, so that's impressive. Also, I've got a 501st battle pack as well, just cause, I mean, why not? Got a delivery today. Um, one of the free things that Lego was supposed to send me because of a problem didn't actually arrive, but it ended up arriving like a couple of days after this had been shipped, so they sent me another one. So this is the second free gift I got, thank God. Um, that looks well. And I got two Bricklink deliveries. Number one, I think you all know him. I think you all know uh, who the guy is. I got him for like 60, I'm gonna say 60, and like shipping was six euro. So that's actually probably the best deal I'm gonna find on it, which, which I'm delighted about. Um, and yeah, he is gonna go somewhere in the gunship display, I think. And then also I got today two torsos, the kind of the two twelfth torsos, so I can kind of recreate the uh, Chrome Bomber scene, the attack on Rylat scene. I think I was talking about that in the last one. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be some fun. Now let's see what's in this. So with the help of my lovely assistant, Ava, we will open up the bag and see what's inside. Oh, we got a dolphin in there. We got a surfboard. Still have no figure though. Maybe I it's know, just a dolphin. I know how it is. There we go. That was that was a lot harder than it should have been. But yeah, let's see. Who who is it? Who is it out of everybody there? That dude. You yeah. think that dude? Wait. That's the airplane dude though. Maybe this will help out a little bit more. Which one do you think it is? That one. Yeah, say probably. Dog, probably. It uh, looks like she has a little bit of a... Oh, that's so cool. Her hair is actually on her hat. That's like one mole. That's so cool. And dual molded legs. That This is a nice little figure. I, I was kind of expecting or hoping for Peacock Girl or Aztec Warrior Dude. Ava wants Peacock Girl or... And that Doggy man. And then Shannon is looking for Peacock Girl or the Ladybird Girl. So we all kind of want Peacock Girl. So that, that hopefully we like, fingers crossed. I'm going to get a few more of these now and see if we can ca yeah. try and catch her. Yeah. So, um, I love how, um, I give you a waist they can help out. And I really wanted the, where was he? That guy but. He wasn't in the pocket and we already have her but we still didn't mock it off. And for that guy, I don't even know how he is. And Peacock Girl, we really wanted her, all of us. And then see that girl right there with the dolphin, we're going to get built up. Got another delivery today and it's a little like funny because I got some free jellies with it. So 
so that's that's cool to see um but yeah i got these because i need to add them on to some of my troopers in here because the i can't remember what legion they are but the orange head fellas have um jetpacks on their backs in this scene so i gotta add them on so that would be fun uh yeah so i'm up at mum's house today gonna record the intros for the millennium falcon unbox and uh review and we've gotta you know tidy up this stuff behind me it's gonna be a little bit of a different setup i think i'm probably gonna use somewhere like uh here because that seems to be the best option like i can have all the big sets here i'm pretty much doing the same thing the same setup but i'm having way bigger sets behind the falcon which is kind of needed you know but that's going to be the plan for today and you know obviously enough then i have a few kind of of the bigger sets here for in the background but this thing this thing is is just ridiculous to clean i mean especially up here where it gets really really dusty and like there's so much ins and outs of it and it's just really hard to get in between all them nooks and cracks over here is fine over here is okay but this this is a monstrosity for dust i mean it just collects so much it's ridiculous but yeah that's the plan for today i think i dusted that before i put it away so that's actually fine i need to dust the mtt and the uh ghost as well um and then i think it's just that stuff then i might put like a big venom in there or something as well but we see the crack with that yeah that's gonna be a uh, quite interesting i can't really show you my old you know yeah i can't this is my old room this is what i used to like when i was like a really rough teenager and you know i used to have a lot more posters and stuff on the walls but now i don't and also i have a couple of holes in there um and yeah just lego display pretty much everywhere here like it's just pretty much and like boxes and then over in my other room, we got some other stuff. Some cat boxes. Loads of cat stuff here. And then yeah, here's like everything else. Then like, it's uh, that's where the millennium, that's where the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer was. And you'll see then of course the rest of my collection. Not all of it, because there is still some at the other house, uh, but not a lot. Also then I have these two boxes full of Lego and there are my clone turbo tanks in there and Rex's ATTE so I might do something with that as well. I might put that out in the background but uh, yeah, time for dusting. Whee! It looks like he's running. Like I mean, the ATAT just... Oh! Oh! What was that? Oh! I was, I was just going to say that it looks so funny when you like move its legs around and... Oh, God damn. Okay. Uh, uh, stand by tactical difficulties. And we're back. Okay. Um, now to figure out... Oh, this is the setup so far. Um, I think I can fit the ATTE or no, sorry, the ATAT in here somewhere. Wanted to fit the uh, 2020 Death Star Final Jewel, but I don't think I'll be able to fit it there. And essentially, it'll be like this, or maybe like that. No, oh, you're not even seeing the Star Destroyer. I'm gonna have to decide which way is which. Um, but, oh, I'm just so excited to actually be finally building this thing. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so change of plans. Now we have a representative from every movie. Maybe two of, oh damn it, one and two. But that could also be argued that it's in the Clone Wars. So that's another thing. Um, because this is actually episode two version. So that's one, episode two, episode three. Clone Wars, Rogue One, the uh, sequel trilogy, because I only actually have that. And oh, you know what? I do have one from each episode. I might actually end up doing that. But anyway, episode four, five, and six um the mandalorian rebels i have a representative from at least everywhere this guy did not make the cut but uh yeah i think this is where i'm going to start off i think it is um i'm considering trying to add someone else in from the rest of the trilogies like i have ray's bike and i have kylo ren's uh tie fighter so maybe it's a good idea to add them in as well uh, more on that in a minute i'm gonna see Hey, I actually got some posts today too, so that's interesting. Um, I feel like this is my two Mandalorians and the clone hairpiece, and then this is... Oh, I could be wrong. I feel like this could be then the legs. Although, 
that seems like one figure. If that's one figure, I know exactly who it is, and that's really fast shipping, Jesus. I, I think I got another Rex, guys. So it ended up being the two Mandalorians and the clone hairpiece because that goes on one of these guys. Then the phase two five oh first no phase two two twelfth armor goes on top of them and I can recreate the scene then with the crumb bomber that I was talking about, I think in the last video. Um so that's gonna be good crack. And I'm actually delighted because these actually have jetpacks. I didn't know if they did or not. Um, and I'm delighted to do, but also the main thing I was worried about is the little hole in the side of their head there. I wasn't sure if they had it and they do so that would make it a little bit more realistic again because they have those things up and Rex doesn't um, so the, the, the Rex minifigure doesn't have the holes so that's kind of disappointing just for the slight nitpickiness of it but yeah happy enough with this delivery but still working on this at the moment uh, it's time to cut the seals oh my god I feel I feel I feel like that was the wrong choice I feel like cutting the seals full stop was wrong. I feel like I should not have built this. Like, oh, it feels like such a sin. It just doesn't. It doesn't feel right to me. This is gonna be. This is gonna be crazy. I need to do the uh, and from the back of the box to the unbox. But how am I gonna lift this thing and just go? Oh, you know, it's just. Oh, I don't know. I don't. This is gonna be difficult unless. I tip it up like, like it is, uh, if I, uh, add from the back of the box, no, that's not going to work. Oh, God damn, this is going to be, this is going to be difficult. I really don't want to open the seals though. Another thing I don't want to do is leave it on the ground like it's been sitting, but like, you know, sometimes these things just have to be done. Sometimes, sometimes there's just no way out. Okay, uh, wish me luck, guys. Yay! And from the back of the box to the unbox. So, so far, I have at least, like, 20 minutes worth of recording that I have to sift through. And I haven't even opened the bag yet. So that's going to be some fun. Um, not... You know, it is what it is. I mean, I got the set, so, you know, I made a bed, so now you can lay in it. Um, th it's really weird, though. The boxes seem to come out really weirdly. So there's, like, one in box number one. There's two is in box number three. Um, f five is in box number four. And then we got six, then, in this box here, the last box. Um, so I don't understand what Lego's idea was with that. I think I, I can make sense of it. Like, look, the bags are in such a way that we can't fit them all in that direction so we have to put like a smaller amount of bags in this one you know i understand that but at the same time it's just so confusing and now i'm gonna have to sift through well anybody else would have to sift through all the bags i uh, i fortunately have the recording of it all so i can uh, see what exactly is where but for other people they're just gonna have to like Start searching. Unless, of course, they just open up all the boxes like I did and then decide that they want to um, mix all the bags in each box um, accordingly, like one, two, three, four in the first box and all that. But that's kind of up to them. Uh, something I didn't realize and I'm going to have to add into the uh, unboxing video is just the insides of this box. Like, look, come here. I think you can see from here. So, first off, we open up that and there's another white print. And we open up that and there's a little kind of Millennium Falcon there with his uh, racing stripes. Not racing stripes, but you know what I mean. Like, that's a bit, that's a bit cool, like, um, like not, can you, can you see it there? Like, that's interesting, yeah? I'm gonna have to add in that. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to record that now. And that's a wrap. Oh my god, that was literally the longest I've ever spent and the most fun unboxing video I've ever done. Um, I just think it was, it was really exciting. Like, inside the box, if you'll see either the vlog or, I'm not sure, you'll see it somewhere on my channel, what's inside the box. But it's just quite interesting, the way they've done it. Um, I've never really seen it before. I suppose I've kind of seen it in um, Moss Eisley, 
but at the end of the day that was only one box and a load of bags not, not to this extent um and it's really it's it's really it's really good to know how much like they put in to making this experience a great one because each of the boxes inside as well is printed and in such a way that it's just like it's just an ooh moment and even then when you have the thing built when you're building it the whole thing will be an ooh moment but they really just have gotten to, gone to every corner to try and find like things to make you smile with and that's what lego should be it's not like i don't think that um is still as present uh, as it used to be but anyway yeah and i'm trying to put all this stuff back and go home and start building it i showed you here is where i was going to plan on doing it and the bed leg was here um but that's not i didn't have enough space so i had to move things around there's all my drawings from when i was a little kid living here and that's uh some cool but yeah no that's that's gonna have to be put back so i'm gonna be here maybe another while hmm. so all my little buddies are put back in their place um, I desperately, desperately need um, somewhere better to store all of this stuff. But something I can't actually wait for, something I'm kind of really excited for, is washing all of this stuff. Because a lot of it is kind of too dusty um, if I did get place to display it. Um, so it's going to be fun washing all that and uh, building it all up again, you know. But for now, into the cupboard where no man shall ever see it. And they shall never see the light of day. So it looks a lot different now, now that the bed is not up on that. Um, yeah, everything's sorted. So I've finally gotten most of what I need. All I need now to complete the two gunships, the Crumb Bomber from uh, Assault on Ryloth, or Rescue on Ryloth, and the Lucky Leku from Season 7, when they captured Darth Maul. The only thing now I need is two 501st pilots. And that seems to be kind of hard to do because Bricklink only ever has like one at a time. Um, there's no shops that sell two of them. The one time I found two, I emailed them and said, well, okay, what's the condition? Because I didn't really go into it. I just wanted to make sure. And um, yeah, they said, sorry, that was a miscount. We actually only have one. Um, okay, thanks a lot. But yeah, no, that's that's the next uh, mission. And to be honest, I might wait till the, bur the birthday to get money for that because I've been spending quite a lot and I need to kind of save up for the deposit for a house. Um, but anyway, other than that, I'll show you now the complete minifigs. So here's the boys um, waiting to get dropped on Ryloth and save the day. Um, they are currently looking at Mace Windu's hollow image, uh, hollow message. But of course, we all know that doesn't exist, so I either need to improvise or just leave it the way it is, or just pretend that Mace is just after hanging up, and that's why they're all still in that position. But yeah, if you see the scene, they are placed pretty much exactly like that in the ship at that moment in time, so I'm really happy to have this one. I have the two uh, pilots in here as well. They were kind of difficult enough to get at a good price. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy now with the Crumb Bomber on to Lucky Leku. So this one's slightly different. Um, I was thinking that to be a perfectionist on this, I'll need to change the inside a little bit there. Uh, take out that gun rack behind Rex and maybe close up the floor a little bit. Um, and also, I'm going to have to get the mall that comes with the uh, Ahsoka jewel that's coming out later on in the year. And get, put him here and get little black ropes and like put them on the uh, Mandalorian's wrists and put them wrapped around Darth Maul. I think it's going to look sick because it's going to be actually recreating the scene perfectly. Obviously, you know, take out the bike there in the background as well. Just if I really want to be a perfectionist about it and also then get some kind of trans blue figure maybe or trans blue block and put it in the middle of that one for the, uh, you know, the, the Mace Windu hollow figure. But yeah that um that that's just made me really happy that's made my week so much better um if you want you can see there i've actually given these two uh jet packs as well because they actually have jet packs in this scene the uh i'm not sure what they have their own number i know they're only a branch off the 501st but they actually have their own 
uh, number, so I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, you know the guys I'm talking about, the 501st with the uh, orange helmets there. I'm just so happy, I actually am, I think this display is going to look so cool whenever uh, Darth Maul finally uh, reaches us in the middle of 2021. Um, but for now, that's pretty much it. Need to get these two to pilot the ship and then they can take off. And by that time, hopefully, I'll be slow enough about it that everything will fall into place roughly around the same time and it'll just look so cool. So I have a couple of steps done in bag one. I'm going to plug in here and listen to some musics. And yeah, this is going to be fun. This is just, it's big. Like getting space for the pieces and the instruction book alone is difficult, let alone getting pieces for that as well, space for that as well. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. So I've reached a milestone in the Millennium Falcon. I have finished one box. Well, I'm not finished. I'm actually using, I'm on that bag now. And that looks like there's only like one more step in it. And to be honest, yeah, there's still a, there's still a good bit left. I'm not even halfway through. Seven and seven is 18, seven and seven is 14. Oh god, no, I'm not even halfway through yet at all. But you know, I'm still I'm getting there. I've reached a milestone. I'm keeping all the bags for now in case um any of the pieces get stuck in there and I don't realise because that actually has happened to me before. Um I've been like almost ready to email Lego being like, Hey, you didn't give me this piece and then I take up the bags and it falls out. So huh. you know, I'm I don't want that to happen with this one, but yeah. I I finally finished one box. But I'm still only about here with it. I mean, there's only enough live streams in the world to listen to all day long. Um, to Well, number one, to learn about Lego and to learn about the Lego YouTubers side of things. Um, but also just to have like a bit of fun with it as well. Like I like listening to some of the Lego YouTubers. They they're, have like a good bit of energy to them and they help with the build quite a lot because it makes it a little less draining i've been on about 15 hours now of work and i'm only opening bag seven so that should tell you how big the, the thing is now don't get me wrong it's still a fun build like these little hallways everywhere i actually love building i love the techniques they use to build them and there's like there's wee ooh moments everywhere you know it's, it does it does work out well but it's just so draining Reached my second milestone, got the second box cleared, that's two boxes down, and I'm on bag 13, so hopefully either today or halfway through tomorrow, I'll be finished. Reached my third milestone, finished three boxes, what? Just have this one to do, and well I didn't finish three boxes, okay I didn't finish them, and I'm on to the last bag of the first box, and I finished those two. So it's just two bags left in there. Well, not two bags, but two numbers <laughs> left in there. So, uh, yeah, I think I might stay up late tonight and try and finish them off. But it could be a really late one. 33 hours in, 432 pages, 66 bags, and four empty boxes. Uh, I'm so tired. And we're done, finally. It took me 35 hours and that's not like saying that I was trying to build very fast or anything, but we're, we're done, we're done. Um, I have a few things to say about it. It's a great build, don't get me wrong. It looks really well um, from the outside, but on the inside there's a few, uh, just a little few notes that I'd like to put, but that's all gonna be up in the unboxing video, which I put a lot of work into, and the review, which I still have to record. Uh, which is why all the figures are there on a tray instead of in there in placement. So yeah, I'm delighted Thanks many for watching my video guys. Hope you enjoyed it If you did, please leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you think there's anything that needs to be said Also, will you give me a little comment down below if you've watched any of the last videos because I need to uh, see is this end screen picture better than the last one Thanks guys. See you again